Hey guys, welcome back again to another YouTube video. So today is gonna be a what's in my skincare box. In case you guys are interested, um, I'm addicted to buying skincare and pretty much I wanted to show you everything that I could fit in my skincare box, which is right here. Um, pretty much everything in here is things like sprays, serums, moisturizers, um, and just some other like skincare serums, I guess. But my actual face washes and like other face wash things like face masks and stuff like that um, are not in here. I keep all my face masks in the fridge and then I keep all my face washes in the shower. So I wanted to show you guys everything that is actually in my skincare box. And if you guys are interested in seeing all of my face wash and face scrub and exfoliator collection or my face mask collection then give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know in the description box below okay guys so we're gonna get straight into it there is actually a lot of stuff in here um i'm kind of looking at it and i'm like okay girl maybe i need to calm down on buying the skincare like Seriously, I'm addicted to buying skincare and it's kind of a problem because every time I see someone review something on Instagram or I see a product that I'm like, oh, I think I would like to try that out, I tend to just buy it and then I forget that I have it and then I end up accumulating quite a lot of stuff and yeah. So I think it's going to be a good video for me as well to think maybe I don't need to buy anything else. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get straight into it and I'm going to try and keep everything in themes but i'll just give you guys a quick look at what is actually inside and what we are working with everything we are working with here you can see i have some sprays um exfoliating pads serums at the bottom moisturizers all that kind of stuff another reason why i'm addicted to buying skincare is because i love to try out new things and i like to see which things work well with my skin and tend to like find depending on the situation of my skin then it would change up my routine so, for example, if I feel like my skin needs a pick-me-up, then I tend to go for certain products which are going to help that. If I'm getting, you know, um, my skin is like oily or it's dry or it's got a couple of breakouts or whatever, then um, my skincare routine will depend on that. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you guys, first of all, my facial sprays. Um, and I guess I have quite a few actually uh mary badescu ones and then i have this one here okay so first of all mary badescu i have the cucumber and green tea one which is my favorite and that one is the one which i am starting to run most out of i really like this one i just feel like it helps to refresh your skin it's really nice my favorite one so far i just prefer this one for my skin i feel like it also detoxes my skin as well and um, it is obviously an antioxidant and green tea is an antioxidant so this is why this is my favorite one and then i also have the herbs and rose water one as well which i really like and um, this one says that it is a little bit more to boost and provide more radiance and re-energize the skin and revive dehydrated skin as well so i think this is probably one that I use the least. No, maybe not. This one's probably the one I use the least, but this one, I'm trying to kind of finish this one first before I go into this one. But if I do feel like my skin is looking a little bit like, it needs a bit of a re-energized look to it, um, to make my skin a bit more radiant, more glowy, then I might put this one on. I might actually put some on now. Um, this would be quite nice actually on top of makeup because you can use it on top of makeup because it is quite a warm day today i think this will actually be quite nice it might make my skin a little bit more glowy so it smells really lovely too i mean they just smell really nice then the next one that i really love is this one which is the aloe chamomile and lavender i'm pretty sure they all have aloe vera in them um but this one is the chamomile and lavender one and this one says that it is antioxidant it has vitamin c um combats skin aging, free radicals, and it helps leave the skin balanced and bright as well. So I think once I've kind of got through these two, then I will go back to using this one again. But I did buy it in a set of three, so I've been kind of working my way through them. And then the next one, which I really like, is the Balance Me PH8 Clarifying Mist. Now, if I am feeling like I'm getting a couple of blemishes or breakouts because it's that time of the month, 
um, or my skin is breaking out, then I will go towards this one as well. Um, this one's really good. I actually got sent this one in a birch box and this one's great because it just helps to deal with antibacterial um, infection, spots, calm skin that is prone to blemishes um, and it's exfoliating PHAs as well. So I got the 10 mil one, so it's a little sample one and I do really, really like this one as well. So that is like all of my facial sprays. The next thing we're gonna go on to is exfoliating pads. Now I love using these. These are really, really good. I, if my skin, like I said, it needs a bit more of a deep clean or a pick me up so that my skin's a bit clogged or congested or I'm getting a couple of breakouts, then I will tend to go towards using the Tea Tree and Witch Hazel one, which is from Boots. I actually love this one. It's probably one of my favorite. Now I've tried a lot of the exfoliating pads and the first ones I ever used was the Nip and Fabric Glycolic Fix ones, which are incredible, but they are quite pricey. Now these ones are not as expensive and I actually feel like I prefer these to the Glycolic Fix. So because they're from Boots, I can pick these up anytime and I think I need some. I've got only got like five left, um, but these are really good and I do really love these ones. Um, I think my sister recommended these to me, that's why I picked them up. Um, and then I have these ones which I actually got from Aldi um, and these are actually a dupe of the Glycolic Fix um, and Nip and Fab ones. These are great, but they're not as good as the Nip and Fab. Like they are a dupe, but they're not like, you know, an exact, copy if you know what I mean like they are really good but they're just not like as good as the nip and fab ones but they are great to have again if my skin is breaking out then I'll go with these ones if my skin is really clear and I'm just trying to make it look more vitalized and glowy and flawless and I do like to go towards my vitamin c products and vitamin c is great for a lot of many different things um I feel like it's good for brightening your skin um, calming your skin and also getting rid of pigmentation or and like uneven spots or if you have like scars and stuff it's great for that too so I do really like using vitamin C products a lot and these are just the refreshing cleansing pads and these are from Superdrug and I do really love these ones too so yeah basically that's all of my exfoliating pads so next up we're gonna go on to a couple of makeup removal products and the first one is my absolute favorite right now and it's the Cordially Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil and it's the Moisturizing Grape and Sweet Almond. This is so good, like you just put a couple of squirts into your hand, you rub it in to get it warm, rub it all over your face and it just removes your makeup and then you rinse it and your makeup's off and then you can go into cleansing your face with your face wash. So double cleansing is something that I love to do when I'm wearing makeup. I think it's so important to help to prevent your, your pores from getting clogged. And I actually saw this in a video, um, which was, I think it was how to prevent your skin from clogging and from getting clogged pores. And this was one of the products she recommended. It smells so good. It smells like sweet, oh, it smells amazing almonds. It's amazing. I absolutely love this. Um, and it removes your makeup so well. I feel like I was worried, like, you know, when you're removing makeup, uh, you're actually getting it off. And I do feel like with this, it does work, but it is a bit more pricey. It's about 20 pounds and I got this from Look Fantastic. Um, the next thing is uh, another bit more of a pricier product and that is the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Again, another great product for removing makeup. I do absolutely love this product. It's a deep cleansing balm, smells amazing. I love LMS products. I actually purchased the glossy box and um, collaboration with elemis about i think it was in january or february and it was about i think 50 pounds for the whole box but the products were worth almost 200 pounds and i did film a video and you guys if you want to see that it is on my channel and i'll just link it in the description box below for that video um but i do really love this product it is great for removing makeup so again two great makeup remover products and then the next one is something that I actually got from, I think it was from a glossy box. And it is the gen this gentle eye makeup remover and it's an oil-based eye makeup remover. It is really, really, really good. It does remove your eye makeup. So obviously if you're going for like a super dramatic eye makeup look, you're going on a night out, 
you've got your eyelashes on, you've got your mascara on, you've got loads of eyeshadow on, and you use, you know, your normal makeup remover products, but it's just your eye makeup remover, your eye makeup is kind of still not budging as well as it could, and this is great to use on top of that. I do really like this product, but my, I tend to go for quite natural makeup looks, but unless I'm going on a night out, which I haven't been able to do because of lockdown, super moisturizing cream with SPF 10, so it is really, really good for protecting your skin. It helps to, I don't know, it says um, apply on clean and dry skin and it's antioxidant. It's got the berries in it. And the, you know, I really love the Skin Active range from Garnier. And this one particularly, I feel like it helps to kind of boost your skin and just makes it a bit more like, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, like not puffy, but I don't know like less dull, it just brightens it and plumps, plumps your skin, that's the word. Moisture bond products will definitely plump your skin, so this is really, really good. I love this product, and I usually put this on um, after I've done my like morning skincare routine and then before I put my makeup on, this is a really great base. And then the next one is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. This is really great as well, I just feel like it super moisturizes your skin and it also smells beautiful as well. So this is like one of my favorite products. It improves the skin's firmness. That's the word I'm thinking of to help it, you know, make it more firm and more hydrated. That's kind of what you're aiming for when you're putting on moisturizers. Um, so it, it reduces the appearance of wrinkles, improves skin firmness and hydration. So this is a really lovely product. I am obsessed with this. Again, another luxury product, but it is, Elemis stuff is amazing. Um, the next, thing will be night cream so the first one is the moisture balm antioxidant super moisturizing gel cream this is the night cream i love it because it's a gel cream so this one is actually more of a moisturizer kind of cream this is like a gel based cream and it just makes your skin feel so soft and it makes it super glowy and radiant so whenever i put this on i always feel like my skin looks like glass it's just like so sheen and smooth and radiant and glowy and it just is amazing and it smells really good like it's just really good for your skin so i do really love that product and then i have the lms pro collagen oxygenating night cream now this is a little one and um, this one says that it just helps to maintain optimum skin condition um so i guess you know overnight your skin can get a bit dehydrated or dry this is good because it does help to ensure that your skin is going to be keeping nice and radiant and moisturized and it is lovely so i do really like that product um i almost forgot to show you guys this should have been with the cleanser this is the cetaphil gentle skin cleanser non-comedogenic fragrance free soap free dry sensitive skin um i would use this to remove makeup as well so i should have probably mentioned that with my makeup remover product i'll put this on first to remove my makeup and then i will go ahead and use my next face wash now, I normally will use this in the winter time when my skin is more sensitive. In the winter time, my skin is definitely more dry and it's more sensitive and it's more prone, I think, to breakouts because of the weather. So I found that when I was using this over the winter time, it was actually really helping my skin um, a lot. So I do really like this product, but I probably will be using this more when the weather gets more cold. Um, so next up, we are going to move on to some skin exfoliating serums and products and other serums I guess. I have quite a few. I do like trying different serums. The Complexion Correcting Radiance Serum from Cordially and it says you just apply this morning and evening before your moisturizer. Um, this is really lovely. This makes your skin really lovely and radiant and really glowy and beautiful. Um, and I've not actually tried this yet but I am very excited to give this a go. Um, this is just the little sample bottle that I've got sent in a batch box I believe. So I'm looking, for, looking forward to trying this out because I do love the Caudalie um, cleansing oil. So I am excited to give this a go. And then the next thing is this Elemis Papaya Enzyme Pale Exfoliating Cream. Now this is actually a kind of face mask, but it's not at the same time. It's more of like an exfoliating pill. And it says that it's non-abrasive, it has fruit enzymes which work to leave the skin soft, revitalize and radiance. And you just apply this for 10 minutes and then you rinse it off. So it is more of a guess a face wash slash mask but exfoliating pill. So I do keep it in this box here. 
if I feel like I need to give my skin a kind of exfoliating and to exfoliate it and purify it then I will use this product um the next thing is I have got this is probably I would mention it now because this is great and I should probably have put this in my shower which I will go ahead and do after this video um, but it is a gel face wash and it's from the Hoogens, Hoogens Paris. God sent this in a birch box. This is really lovely because it helps to revitalize stress skin, gentle sulfate free foam, bright complexion, neat skin. Um, it's organic and it has tea tree which helps to balance the sebum production, purify and revitalize stress skin. So when my skin is stressed, especially when the time of my month and it is the most stressed or if I'm going through stress and my skin breaks out as a result, this is the best product to use. I love it. So I am going to put it in my shower because I completely forgot that I had thrown it in here. Um, next up, I have a couple of beauty tools. Um, the first one is just this silicone cleansing pad. Now, I already have one, a bigger one of these in my shower. So when that one kind of comes to the end of its life, then I will just replace it with this one. Got sent this one in birch box as well. And these are great for washing your face with your face wash. So in the shower, I will wash my face. Um, and it's deep cleansing, so I feel like it helps to clean your skin a lot more. And also when you're using your face wash, it helps to get more deep into your pores. So I always am using these. I've stopped using my hands to wash my face with face wash now. Always using exfoliating brushes or like little sponges or like little pads like these. And then this is my serum applier. So once I've applied my serum and my moisturiser, I will go over my skin with this and I will warm it up to help it to get into my skin, sink it more. This helps with the lymphatic drainage of your skin. It helps to kind of circulate blood flow as well. It just makes your skin a lot more radiant, bright and beautiful. And this is from The Body Shop. So I'm always using this as well. Stop applying serums and moisturisers to my hand now. Always using these to rub it in. And it just feels really nice too. Like you're giving yourself like a little facial. So I do like this. I guess you can use Jade Waller as well. Both of them work pretty much the same. They both have the same kind of principle. Um, the next thing we're gonna go on to is my serums. Now I have quite a few serums to show you guys because I do love using serums. Um, you can see I have quite a few. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna start off with Nip and Fab because I have two from Nip and Fab. So my current day serum that I'm using, which I love the most is my Vitamin C Serum Fix. This stuff is so good. Vitamin C, it helps to brighten and even skin tone, so it helps with any scars or anything like that. It just makes your skin a lot more even. Um, it's rich in antioxidants because it has got carrot oil in it as well, and so it helps to kind of, you know, prevent your pores from getting clogged. It just helps to kind of detox your skin. Green tea for an anti-aging effect. I use this every morning before my moisturizer. Um, this is my favorite one right now that I'm using, especially because the weather is a lot more warmer. Um, but if I feel like my skin needs a bit more of a pick-me-up, for example, if I feel like it's really dry um, and it feels quite dried out, if I, for example, if I use like a like detoxing face mask but it made my skin quite dry, then I will use this one, which is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid absolutely love this ordinary products are amazing and i'm excited to try some more of their serums as well um i did film a video as well so i'll link it in the description box below if you guys are interested in checking that out but yeah this is great um the next thing i use which is my current go-to night serum it is the glycolic fix i do struggle quite a little bit with clogged pores and congested skin this product is amazing for reducing pores the appearance of pores for preventing your pores from getting clogged um, and it also smooths and calms your skin as well. But yeah, absolutely love this product. Um, I am gonna probably buy the exfoliating rodent shot as well. But Nip and Fab stuff is one of my faves as well. And then I have a couple from Superdrug, which is the same range of their vitamin C line as well. This is great too. If you want something a little bit more affordable, then I would recommend trying the vitamin C detox skincare range from Superdrug. So the first one is the vitamin C um, invigorating skin booster. Now this is something that I would use for the day as well, rather than the nighttime. In the nighttime, I like to more focus on a more exfoliating, more um, intense products on my skin. And then during the day, I like to focus on more like radiance, um, moisturizing and kind of 
detoxing and protecting my skin throughout the day. So I do really love this one. It's infused with vitamin C, leaves skin softer and brighter, and it just detoxifies your skin. It just smells really natural and just like it does some great things to your skin. And then I also have the eye gel as well, which helps to detoxify your skin. Infused with vitamin C and it has the kakadu plum extract, goji, berry extract and caffeine as well. So the caffeine is going to be amazing for brightening your eyes and making them look more awake if they are tired. And then last but not least, I have my anti-wrinkle face oil from LMS, the Pro Collagen Maroon Oil as well. This is good, but I just feel like I don't really need this product right now because my skin is obviously a little bit more younger, but I do still use it. I do feel like I might start using this a couple times a week just to prevent wrinkles and to use it in the evening time. Um, it does smell really lovely as well. So maybe I will start doing that. And it does make your skin super glowy and hydrated too. So I might actually go back to using this just a couple times a week. Um, but I do love this product as well. But yeah, that is pretty much everything. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's super, quite long and I have quite a lot of products that I had to show you guys. But yeah, please give this video a huge thumbs up, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Smile.